What's up guys, Wheels here. Today we're going to be playing some Elder Scrolls Legends Story Mode. It's the new game from Bethesda and Dire Wolf Studios. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I actually have already recorded some footage and the audio got corrupted, so now I'm going back again. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the story here. It actually is a pretty sweet story. Uh, and because this is only a beta, there's only a few acts or chapters in the game right now. Uh, but my understanding, they're expanding it uh, and going on and continuing the story after this, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, story is actually really good. It uh, is a tutorial as well as a campaign to unlock more decks. Uh, so essentially the five starter decks, which is great. Um, this is your profile here. It allows you to pick your character and title class and all that stuff. And I'm not going to go over this now because that's not the point of this. Um, we're going to go ahead and start up in the story. Now, when I click on this, it'll probably load Act 9. I'm going to skip it right away uh, and go back to the prologue. Uh, I won't be talking during any cutscenes or I won't. I will try not to talk during any cutscenes and we'll just play it out as we go. Oh, great. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go ahead and click on Act 1 Prologue. This will give us a little bit of background and we'll then go into Act 1, Chapter 1 thereafter. The Elder Scrolls show us what was what yet will be and they have revealed much to me spare us your stories old man unless they can sharpen spears our war chief is dying our enemies are massing for another attack we must prepare for that we should go Kellen. we have the scroll we came for and this one smells blood in the wind patience not i have words yet to speak here stories can do surprising things spear maiden whether they are true or not. And this is one you should hear. It comes from the great war that nearly ended the Empire. It began when the High Elves slaughtered every Imperial Blade, calling themselves the new Aldmeri Dominion. They and their allies swept through the land, and capturing the Imperial City itself. fled north, leaving Cyrodiil to the invaders. This is the story of a forgotten hero who changed the very course of history. So as you saw with the intro there, this is kind of like a backstory to Elder Scrolls. Uh, not sure where it really falls in line with the other ones, but it's actually pretty cool because it has RPG style elements along with card game as well as some other unique twists on this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with Act 1, Chapter 1, Fighting Pit. Right there you can see that Tier is first, and I go second. Why do I have a feeling they're going to kill us either way? So, play your creature. Elgin, uh, Legends is very similar to other digital card games in that you have a mana or magic a pool uh, that goes up. Uh, every turn and you have cards that are based on that but it definitely has some other unique twists and as i play the campaign along here you'll see 
the different features like lanes and shadow and all these other cool Place unique features. In the lane. Just like other card games, you can't attack on the first turn unless they have charge. Attack one of their creatures. Don't worry, I've got this. I want to get this big guy out of here. Creatures battle. Each damages the up. When creatures fight, they deal damage. E One thing that is unique to this card game uh, that I like a lot is that damage carries over turn over turn. So if I were to place this card down now, and he were to attack, or I'll show you here. I'm going to go ahead and attack and kill his crab there. And the damage persists turn over turn. So even when I end it, I will continue to only have one health left. Uh, which is actually very unique because most card games are going to have uh, more than that. Now, you drew an item. Play heavy battle axe to improve one of your creatures. I'm going to go ahead and use heavy battle axe uh, actually on this creature. Now, normally... Uh, at quick glance, you'd look, okay, cool, I'm going to go ahead and attack this. But unlike Magic and some other card games, uh, you could attack directly to the opponent and not have to worry about blocking. And if you do block, uh, which can only be blocked with a guard card, uh, then they'll take the damage instead. And you'll see how that works out later on. I'm just going to go ahead and end this right now. Oh, I have you now. You're pretty good with that axe. We work together. And this we is where the game chance. really starts, uh, right here. That's kind of just the introductory. Uh, every match, normally you're going to have uh, XP for leveling up, as well as victory conditions, so like a battle chest or new cards. Uh, but because I had already played through this, I don't have those. All right, let's go ahead and go on to Act 1, Chapter 2 here. So I've teamed up with Tyr, and now... We're trying to the escape the blades, the or escape the fighting pits here. It's almost a fair fight. It's actually a pretty cool, unique story. Uh, as it goes along, it gets more in-depth and more along the lines of the Elder Scrolls games. Let's see him first. Most games have two lanes. Creatures can only attack enemy creatures in the same lane. So as you can see, this is where the introduction for the lanes are. And this is where cool mechanics come into play. Uh, normally, the left lane is uh, standard, no mechanic. And then the right lane is shadow mechanics. Uh, but the campaign allows you to have different unique features for each lane. Uh, when you face an opponent, a, a regular opponent, not a computer opponent, uh, they're going to have the shadow and then the field lane over here, standard. That's for balance reasons, uh, but in the campaign, they like to twist it up and throw it around a little Choose bit. A lane for your scuffler. Go ahead and place him here on the left. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, no matter how many times I play this, it's going to have when the same... Orc. Yeah. It's going to have the same ability, so I'm going to place him here. Or same cards will come up every time. Because, like I said, it is a tutorial. Go ahead and take this guy out. No, he should play over here. Deaths will please the Queen of Shadows. Yep. I'll play this Scuttler. Uh, and I'm just going to go in for, for damage here. My blade is thirsty. Let them consume you. They will bow to the prince of Should get an archer. Summon Huntsman to take out your opponent's creature. Now this hunter has a unique feature when it's played. It has a summon effect. Go ahead and shoot it over here. Get some direct damage into play. Grind their bones. And unfortunately, uh, for him, he killed a creature that would have given me uh, the killing blow. But I got this crushing blow, which allows me to pick anybody, uh, any enemy to deal three damage to. I'm just going to deal it directly. 
And because he doesn't have a guard, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to finish it off. Pretty simple. These, Like I said, these are kind of tutorial missions. Um, it gets more difficult the further you go in. Uh, when I finished the eighth one, it was actually super difficult. Um, it ramped up pretty quickly because it introduced all the mechanics every turn or every new act here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Act 1, Chapter 3, Dark Omens. Guessing that's Reed. These mortals must not be allowed to reveal Lord Narathan's plans. Destroy them. So Reeve is like the pit lord of the fighting pits. Uh, the previous people we fought are like his bodyguards or his his peons. As you can see, it's slowly introducing more mechanics. So this is where it talks about the Magicka. And as you can see, I have the three card draw. Uh, in a normal game, you'll have a three card draw, but you can decide to keep uh, some cards or get rid of some cards. Let's go ahead and place this one here. Your Magicka increases by one each turn. Their deaths will bring glory uh, to and I'm just going to go for easy damage because she does two damage to whoever I attack to, plus one damage, uh, which is great. So I'll do the three easy damage, and then we'll just get that elimination there, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, mainly because I'm going to be able to play this high up no you know what i'm gonna play this one here and use its ability to cross lanes here and take out the scam uh and then attack for some easy points hopefully um if we're lucky she's gonna attack uh he's gonna attack her uh if we're unlucky uh we have this buff here which is great For that that's interesting specifically because what I'm gonna do now is now I'll have somebody over here to be able to attack this one uh, but I'm gonna actually buff up and I'm gonna give this plus zero plus two uh, and I'm not gonna waste it on this one uh, because this one's gonna attack here to get rid of this uh, if I had that it's not worth it, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to her. Because then she'll have full 3-3. Three, three. Um, and either one that attacks this one will be remaining with... Or will, will die no matter what. Uh, so that is okay uh, to me. Now, if I would have powered her up, they both would have been left at 1-1. One, one. Um, but I'm not too concerned about that, uh, mainly because I think he has an ability that would have been able to kill it anyways. So I went for the easy damage to two. All right. Let's see what we get here. Deal three damage. All right. I'm just going to go for easy damage here. Uh. I'm not too concerned. I'm overwhelming him for at this point. Glory for the grave. I think something similar happened the first time where I just overwhelmed him. Uh, because he doesn't have any creatures over here, I'm just going to be able to attack blood. directly, not worry so much. Especially since the guard mechanic hasn't been introduced yet. Just play that. Play that. It doesn't matter. And that's that game. You will not be able to prevent the culling. Blood will flow, and my master will let loose darkness on the world. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and play Act 1, Chapter 4, Bennett Ambush, and this will be the last one in this video. Jamora's words unnerved the hero. 
they journeyed north to meet Mana, a sorcerer's friend of Tyr's, well versed in Daedric matters. But the road ahead was far from clear. Look what we have here. Stand up, T. Hand over your coin or you die. This is our road. Nobody passes without paying a tribute. We haven't got any money. As for taking our lives. So we've escaped the summoning pit or the fighting pits, and now we're on our way to this guy's sorcerer's friend, and we were ambushed by bandits here. Pretty cool. Like I said, it has a full story to it, which is really nice. For every five health you lose, you will lose a rune and draw a card. So that, in that introduced one of the coolest features to Elder Scrolls Legends, and that would be this rune mechanic. Uh, normally, you'll have 30 health, and every five that goes down, you'll draw an extra card. Now, these cards are effectively prize cards that were set aside in the beginning of the game and there's different features and as as we play this campaign you'll see the new features that come up with them but they actually allow you to change the flow of the game and it really makes it so that your opponent doesn't do a lot of damage in one turn because you may draw a super powerful rune card that will completely swing you back into the game and actually possibly take out the other opponent, you know, one or two turns there later. So I place him over here to line up for this attack. Um, he's attacking here. I'm okay with that. We're outnumbered. Let's take some of them out before they overwhelm us. Uh, he's playing oh, super, super heavy over there, um, which is okay with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this, this dude here, and I'm going to give this guy a 1-2, uh, or a, a plus 0-2 buff, and I'll be able to take this guy out and still give me the two left here. Um, unfortunately, that means he can kill me now, uh, but that gives him two targets to kind of fight over, and I assume he wasn't going to. You draw a card. This one grows impatient. Charge creatures can attack immediately. Now that rune card uh, was a summon effect, which is actually really nice. Uh, it's going to give me this plus one, plus zero, uh, which allows me to actually play it over on this medic over here, which will then allow me to take out the Bandari outlaw. So I'm going to go like this. Buff it over me. here. Uh, I'm going to use this Watchman to take out his uh, Tell me where it hurts. his creature. Now I've got two up on him and charge. I'll be able to drop next turn and attack him directly with this gentleman. With this orc. So this is where the game gets a little unique. Um, these action abilities that are uh, similar to your other ones so the nice part about this is i could actually drop him get an easy two damage hopefully this guy will attack him uh leaving him alive and then also getting this damage in or i could go for an easy three damage and take these two out what i'm going to do is i'm going to do that first thing i said drop the charge in go for the easy damage uh, one thing i noticed about these early levels in the campaign is just overwhelming the opponent the ai opponent in a normal match against a non-computer controlled opponent or of a higher difficulty normally you'd expect to uh, plan out your strategy maybe take out their creatures more um and i actually got really lucky there i do a fireball does one damage to all of my opponents so that just wiped out his full field And I should be able to take him out next turn with a crushing blow here. Take the coin and run. Yeah. Straight. And 
throw everybody out. All right, so that was the prologue and the first four chapters of Act 1 for Elder Scrolls Legends here. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a preview of what we're going to see next time. Dominion Guards. Halt! We're looking for a rogue blade who matches your description. There must be some misunderstanding. What kind of misunderstanding? The kind where you thought we'd come quietly. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like and a comment in the description below. Uh, be greatly appreciated as this is one of my first videos on the channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.